What's going on with the truckers? Hey, this has been going along. This trucker alliance, right? It's filled with all the mega carriers, Night Swift, May Trucking, JB Hunt, uh, US Express. I mean, you name it. Uh, they are in this trucker alliance and pretty much on a personal level, on a private level, they're able to hair test you and they've been doing that for years. But they wanted the government, the FMCSA, to make it a part of the clearinghouse. So all the people that they failed, they wanna be able to report it so those truck drivers could never ever get a job. And you know, they wanted to make it difficult. Yes, 100%, I don't condone, I, I, I don't think that you should do anything. I think that you should be sober when driving, 100% I agree with that. But I think that they were doing this and proposing this and not for the safety of truck drivers and for America and the people in it, but they're doing this so that they could kick out as many truck drivers as they could. And at the end of that, they all invest in self-driving semi trucks. I mean, this would be the perfect chance to implement that technology. So just today, the FMTSA denies carriers requests to report truck drivers for hair tests. You know, um, the exemption aimed at identifying use is beyond agency's authority, FMCSA's Hutchinson's asserts. So pretty much uh, Hutchinson's, the one that runs the FMCSA, says that it's out of their scope and they can't do anything about this. So Robin Hutchinson argues that federal statutes prevents her from approving a test exemption that some of the nation's largest trucking companies argues would have kept thousands of abusing drivers off the roads. So pretty much it, she's just saying that it's out of her scope and she can't do anything about this. And because of that, uh, yeah, she denied their claims. And so as of now, uh, you do not have to worry about on a federal level to get hair tested. Now, if you go work for these companies, these mega carriers, they're a private company, they're allowed to do whatever they want and they can test you. But as far as the federal level, hey, you're still safe, you know? So, mother truckers, comment down below. What are your thoughts about this? Um, do you agree? Do you disagree? I was thinking, honestly, the mega carriers weren't doing this for safety. I was thinking that they were doing this more because they want to have more control of the industry and you know all these companies i mean they support and uh, they invest a lot of money in self-driving semi trucks you know so i could see them trying to kick out as many drivers as they can for any reason at all and implement you know those that technology that they invested so much money in so mother truckers this is actually extremely big news and you know uh, again i don't condone anyone doing anything uh, drive be professional be sober but for all the things that that would connect uh, i think it's a good thing for the industry that uh, the fmcsa denied uh, it and so yeah comment down below